Hey, how's it going? This is Juan with WPZombies.com, and today I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to style your uh, your forms with the gravity forms. Um, this is basically just to get you familiar with the CSS ready classes that gravity form provides. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this very long and unorganized form and um, strain it up a little bit with some classes. Uh, there's no styling. This is just adding classes to the fields. So uh, if you're unfamiliar with the CSS ready classes. Uh, I'll provide this link in the description and you're going to go ahead and see all your options. For now we're just going to straighten up this phone email, add three columns to these input text here and um, style these check boxes and style this text here. Very simple, take a couple minutes so let's get started. Alright so first thing we're going to do is the phone and email have them aligned with the first name and last name so in order to do that all you have to do is go to the first field advanced CSS class name and that is going to be GF left tab alright so we'll close that the field is going to float to the right that is GF right half alright so if we go ahead and update and refresh now we have the phone and email aligned with the first name and last name. All right, so what we're going to do next is get these three columns and display them on a single line. And in order to do that, we're going to add the class names GF left third. This is going to be GF middle third. And finally, Jeff right there. Alright, and that simply lines them up on a single line. Now what I want to do with these states here, um, this is probably not a practical use, you'll probably never use all the states in a checkbox, but I want a large list of uh, checkboxes so um, what I want to do is go ahead and style these into four columns and in order to do that it's a single class and that will be GF list for call now that's just simply going to put these into four columns so a lot cleaner and here this text is a little bit cluttered I didn't really mark up the paragraphs but um, say you want to put this into a scroll box just uh, clean it up a bit alright so now what we simply have to do is just add one more class to finish up this tutorial and the class will be to add GF scroll text and finally we end up with this result alright you can add markup, you can add heading tags um, strong tags, break tags, whatever HTML you need to to style this the way you'd like maybe it's for like a disclaimer or terms maybe so uh, that's how to add a scroll box and now that long form is now much shorter and cleaner this was just a quick introduction to the CSS ready classes they have actually been out for quite a while you actually be surprised how many forms you see that are built on gravity forms that do not utilize these classes and are actually just stacked on top of each other which it looks um, you know very messy and unprofessional so if you are unfamiliar with these classes, then uh, hopefully this will help you out. Thank you.